this edition of Unboxing Live. We're opening up the Linksys WRT 1900 AC 80211 AC router. Alright guys, welcome to Unboxing Live. This is the show that brings you vicarious thrills through opening new gear and as I said, we're checking out the Linksys WRT 1900 AC. It's a dual band, gigabit, Wi-Fi router that supports 80211 AC, hence the name WRT 1900 AC. As I said, dual band, so you're going to get 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz networks, or you can if you so choose, which will double your bandwidth and maximize throughput. It can basically sense what devices are requesting data from it wirelessly and then kind of direct the signal towards those devices. So if you're upstairs, it'll send the signal up, or if you're downstairs and the router's upstairs, it'll send it down. Basically, it'll try to send the signal rather than just putting a wide signal out through the house. So as you can see, it looks nice. They've nicely packaged it on the inside. They had a soft foam of some sort, and the router's in there. I'll pull that out. And let's see what else there's in there. Documentation, a quick start guide, and then in here, they've actually got the four antennas. So they're external antennas that you will connect on your own. They throw in an ethernet cable, which is nice because not a lot of people do that, or companies. Uh, there's your power cord to the wall, which will connect to this AC adapter. That's it for the box. If you've had a wireless network for a while in your home, you may recognize the colors on this, the Linksys, because it's supposed to be reminiscent of their most famous or infamous router, the WRT. 54G. That was their big 802.11G router. I think it's about 10 years ago now, maybe a little more that they released that, but it was very popular because you were able to put your own firmware on that, open source firmware, and uh, not use the Linksys firmware, which back then people didn't like too much. They built the WRT 1900AC with that in mind. So you can actually install DDWRT um, easily because they've made it compatible with open source uh, software, router software. Now you can just choose to use a Linksys software as well if you prefer. No big deal there. All right, so as I said, I'm going to start putting these uh, antennas on there. High performance antennas that we talked about made to enhance the dual band communication of the router. They're adjustable to ensure fantastic Wi-Fi signal. In multi-level homes, small offices, etc. Four Ethernet ports. These are all gigabit one internet port, USB 3.0 connection as you see here, it's blue, and then you get another USB 2.0 connection, or you can plug in an eSATA drive there. A reset button, that's where you plug in the power and there, there's your power switch, on off. Pretty hefty and the reason for that is because there's a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor on the inside, it's ARM based, but that helps process all the high-speed data and multiple users simultaneously gaming, streaming movies, transferring files, etc. with no lag. So that's it. That was your look at the Linksys WRT 1900 AC, but it is a pricey router. You can find it on Amazon right now for $250. But if you need the latest and greatest, if you're doing a lot of streaming video in multiple areas of the home, a bunch of smartphones in the home, wireless computers, wireless printers, smart TV, you know, if you have a bunch of wireless devices, you may want something like this. So once again, check it out on Amazon. I'll put the link in the show notes. It's $250. It'll likely go down. So if you're watching this video, not when I've published it, but a few months later, check it. You'll probably find it for even less than that. We thank you for watching, for sharing, liking our video, and for subscribing over at youtube.com slash gear live. Until next time, I'm Andrew Edwards. Stay tuned for more vicarious thrills to opening new gear right here on Unboxing Live.